Hello all, I'm Kathy Brown of Brown Nose Social Media and today we have a healthcare hangout. It's actually a healthcare glass hangout where we're going to get to have a sneak peek of a new application that is coming out and it is Flash Stacks. So we are going to be revealing Flash Stacks glassware which is being done in combination with um, Fat Russell and Three, 33 labs. Is that right, ladies? That's correct. Absolutely. So let me introduce you both, and we'll start with Cecilia, who is the founder of 33 Labs and a fellow Glass community leader like myself. And she's going to introduce herself, tell her background about 33 Labs and her part in this particular project. Cecilia? Hi everybody, thank you Kathy for the intro and um, so I'm Cecilia Beidi, I work with 33 Labs, we founded this company because of Google Glass and wearables, we were waiting for the next wave of technology uh, a couple years ago and when we saw Google Glass we definitely identified uh, like this is the way we want to surf, this is it, so we, we jumped on it and we founded 33 Labs and built things like um, Genie, uh, personal assistant on Google Glass, we also were co-founders of Linksfit, which is like the first personal trainer for Google Glass and other wearables, which has a lot to do with health, and we might talk about it a little bit later if you want. And uh, today we are very happy to be announcing together with Pat Russell and with Virginia Poltrak here the launching of the beta version of Flash Stacks, which is uh, ideally is this place where people can upload their own things, their own cards. It could be for studying and uh, it could be for anything pretty much that you want to see on glass. Uh, we're going to be waiting for the users to come up with creative uses but we already know that it's going to work very well for educational things and particularly we have been asked by doctors to get this medical area inside flash tags. That's going to be uh, very exciting which is the topic that I'm so excited about. And that brings us to Virginia. Virginia, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Fat Russell and what your play in all this is? Sure. Um, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here with you guys. And um, yeah, much like um, Cecilia, we started Fat Russell um, actually when I got glass with the intent of you know, working on a bunch of projects and seeing what we could do. Um, we started with Word of the Day and uh, one of our other latest projects is Suki Says for Android Wear. Um, but with Flash Stacks, it has been great because obviously working with Cecilia was a no-brainer. Like, yes, we would love to do that. That would be fantastic. Um, so, yeah, we're really excited to have people start using this and sort of um, seeing how the use cases develop and and how it can help people. Wonderful. Well, let's talk about um, what it is. Can you just give us a, a general idea of what it does today? So what it does today is allows, empowers the user to create uh, what we call stacks, which are basically bundles, what you know as bound, bundles in glass, but in where it's going to be like sets of cards. So we allow the user to create these sets of cards that they can visualize on their glass and in the end it becomes a marketplace where people could put up their stuff, their content and others can discover it and then send it to their own glasses. That's, uh, that's the, 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 main, the main goal of the application and maybe it might be a little easier if we show a little bit of it. And keep in mind that uh, it is on, on beta testing right now, so we are taking um, registration for people that want to be, for now, mostly inserting content because it all about, it's all about the content in this case and people have to start bringing it in and then after that it will be ready for a second phase of testing more in, in the discovery uh, area. Okay. Let's see. Can you see my, my screen now there? Now we can, yes. Okay, so uh, here we are with Flash Stacks Home, and uh, there's uh, the feature stacks. The feature stacks are stacks that it's it's it, the structure is very similar to what you would find in YouTube, and that's a little bit of where we got the inspiration for this website. And then you could see the recent things, things that people have been uploading recently, and then you could go to your own stacks and uh, edit them. 
and see how they were built. This is a little stack that I built with inspirational quotes, for instance. And uh, you should have more cards here, but this is it. And then you can create, like I said, and this is the main point of uh, what we are launching at this point is the creation of new stacks. So at this point, you would say like uh, anything like um, testing, say testing, and add some tag. And then we would upload the cover, the cover photo for the stack. So the cover photo for the stack in this case could be something like um, any car. I'm going to choose my giraffe here picture <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> and um, this is a big picture, so it might take a tiny bit to upload. Well, while we're waiting for that to upload, yeah. I want to speak to the audience, uh, the viewers that are listening and those who will see it when it's in recorded form. Um, the, this is the original intention of it, but feel free to open your minds to all kinds of creative ways that this would apply in healthcare because I'm immediately um, envisioning a whole collection of medical reference material for a patient that you're about to go see or operate on or, or any number of things. This is really a collection of um, cards or almost like flash, well they are, the flash cards that you can refer to later. Is that right? Is that the general gist of this, Cecilia? That is, that is pretty much the, the gist, exactly, exactly like you described it. And we'll show you also a few, we have a few things that are uh, particularly our, um, so here's the picture, I don't know if you can see it now. And you can zoom in, zoom out, and finally you crop it at a certain place. And so this is a very simple procedure. You just create the cards very fast like that. But uh, I know you want to know more about medical, so we show you a few uh, stacks that we have for medical. For instance, uh, Virginia has uploaded an echocardiography stack, okay? And the echocardiography stack would give people information about, like, my, uh, numbers and this little table that will guide them through the mitral stenosis or the tricuspid. I have no idea what these things are, but <laughs> my friend Christian Assad told me this was a good example. So, <laughs> but this is the whole point, you know, that we know that when, especially when students are going through the medical career, they have to pass all these very uh, complicated tests and they have to remember all these facts and even they have all these tricks. Like in this case, um, we have another one that is for the uh, common replacement fluids, and it kind of gives them an idea of what amounts they have to use for each of the different nitrates and different substances that they're going to be using. So uh, the, the whole point is for them to, when you're studying, although I hear from conversations with doctors like Christian Assad that it would be also useful, and like you, Kathy, said, for regular practice, because there are things that you don't do every day, and you need these reminders as you go through things. Yes, and, and I'm, I'm picturing even a lecture hall where someone has uh, reference cards for specific things that they want people to be able to see visually, but they don't necessarily want to be, have to put up front. Uh, let me ask you an important question here to both of you. Um, how do you retrieve this? So if I'm, let's play this out. I have glass on. I have loaded this collection of flash cards or stacks. How do I access each individual card for reference? So there's different ways. You could go to the website. For now, you could go to the website and send it to Glass. And all these things, some of them, if you know you're going to be using them, you could pin them to the left of the OK Glass so you have them handy. But uh, our next step is building a GDK application for Glass where you could search for things. Well, so let, me, let, me ask, let me ask this again. Um, mm -hmm. Well, first of all, Cecilia, I'm looking at myself on the screen, so... Oh, okay. That's not funny. <laughs> so you might, <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, or you, you can come back to you. Um, yeah, what I'm really asking is, how discreet is it to access the cards? Because um, I know that medical students and even physicians later have cheat cards to refer to specific things, and they when you flip through a card, a patient is thinking, oh, they don't know the answer to that. Well, how discreet is it to access that information? You could just go to your favorites, for instance, and you would swipe through your favorites very discreetly. There's other ways. You, you might have to search for something. If it's in your, in your recent or in your favorites, definitely you will be able to access it very fast. If you're looking for something that you haven't checked lately and it's not in your favorites, you might have to do a search. 
So you might want to have prepared, and you might have different subjects. So we potentially will allow you to have buckets of things where you put different subjects and you group these cards. But that's all very new, so we're going to be experimenting. And, and these are great questions, Kathy. <laughs> Virginia, do you have a medical background? Um, I don't. The only sort of frame of reference that I have is that um, I did work for an EMR company, which was um, a big learning curve for me, and, and um, I actually loved it because there was so much information, and it was sort of like, how can I as a designer um, sort of help in that conversation? But I think Cecilia brought up an excellent point when she referenced YouTube for flash decks because that was something that I looked at a lot, and I think that it's something that's familiar to people, but Flash Dax is not unlike YouTube for Glass. I, I think that's a fair statement in that, right, it's user-generated content. You can search on things. You can add, you know, whatever you want to it. Um, but also we should add you don't have to just upload images. You can create stacks of text. You can create stacks of text over an image. So, in other words, there are a lot of different templates than you can use creating yes. the stacks. Videos Ooh. as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now my mind is going because what I'm picturing <laughs> now is someone who's queuing up the patients for a doctor for the day to this be able to put together a stack perfect. that represents the up to date information of each patient as that doctor is going through to remind that, that doctor of things that, that they can pull up and know about that patient instantly. Yes, and, and, and that's that's a possibility definitely, yes, to, to have that kind of feed from the nurse. And we, we, we are visualizing in different levels how the nurse and the doctor will work together because they have the appointments, they have the information of who's next, things like that. At this point, we are not uh, necessarily hyper-compliant. It's not something we're looking into because we're looking more into education, but those are areas where this could evolve. Mm -hmm. And there's a comment on the event page. Jean Sutton just said that um, there is the an educational interpreter. I can see loading stacks that I may need for an upcoming class. So if I get stuck, I can reference the topic specific vocabulary. So that's that's um, very true too. Thank you, Jean. Perfect yeah, I, I do presentations, for instance, a lot, and I, I was thinking that a little bit of help there with my presentation wouldn't hurt, you know. So what do we have to do to get this beta version and give you feedback? Because I'm thinking the same thing. I would love to use this for presentations just to queue up some of the notes. Because I, I give long presentations where I have to know everything that happens in an hour's time as I'm talking. And I do well with you know what I'm going to talk about in what order. But I don't always remember the name of the study or the name of the town of whatever it was or the particular statistic. And I'd love to have cards to just queue me that I can refer to. And you know what? Uh, both Virginia and me, as software developers in the Glass uh, community, we have gotten tons of requests of people that want to do a prototype of an idea they have, and they want to send it to Glass so they can show their prospective investors or users, you know, like to do a little lean experiment. So nowadays, when you have a new project, a new idea, and we'll go to how to register very soon, but today when you have a new idea, uh, the new techniques of software development tell you that you don't go and build an application. You try to build a prototype so that very cheaply you can do experiments with real potential users and will tell you, yes, this is very interesting to me. Yes, I could use these. I would change it in these ways. And this is how much I would pay for this experience. All of that is called lean, lean startup of, or lean development. And uh, we think it will help really with that. And we see so many doctors that are entrepreneurs now that they got the glass thing and they're like, oh my gosh, I have these ideas and I want to build these projects. And we think it would also help for that. Definitely. So what are the next steps? What are you looking to do next? Or what can this community and those who are viewing here, what can they do to help you? And, and what can you offer as far as getting on the beta? Because you know that I'm going to ask you that. <laughs> Virginia, you want to go over that? Um, so we have actually right now um, a landing page up at flashstacks.com where you can go get some information. You can sign up to be a beta tester. Um, and we will also um, be sending out some invitations, um, sort of slowly rolling it out in phases so we can sort of help everyone as best we can and sort of meet everybody's needs. Um, but we will start rolling that out very soon. So you can go to flashdax.com and sign up, and um, we're going to get beta testers in there ASAP. 
All right, and I have just posted that on the event page, that link for those who are attending and come back later so they'll be able to find that. And that's wonderful news. Are there any areas where you're looking for additional insights or feedback from people? <laughs> well, there's one. <laughs> well, obviously, they think it's rather rough right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think you're right. That was a statement. <laughs> um, we 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 want uh, people that are used to the beta testing environments at this point that they're flexible and they know that they're going to deal with little issues here and there and uh, they're going to be reporting to us. We also Virginia just put a community app for our beta testers so we can all internally discuss ideas like all the wonderful ideas that you just gave out. Uh, you know we we would be able to get people to um, you know comment on that and evaluate how it's going, etc. Well, uh, that that is great and I hope that you will put that community link on the event page when we're done here so people can follow to that. I can see using this, um, I think I've shared with Cecilia, I haven't told Virginia yet, but I'm going to India in about two weeks to go on a medical mission. They're going to be using mHealth applications along with traditional sonography, echocardiography to treat uh, rheumatic heart disease in India and I can wow. see where this might be an interesting thing to take with me to load up information. I'm not sure how it can be used, but but I'm I'm still playing in my mind how that might work just to have information available. Mm -hmm. Yes, and also to show others. Like if you're talking to people and you're talking about the future of that same project in India, you could give them a glimpse of how it would be in the future. So you can be a builder uh, of whatever project you're in. Yeah, well, a lot of the doctors that are going on these, this trip have not used some of the mHealth devices. So they've been educated to, uh, and some of the doctors that are there in India, they've been given videos to watch on how to operate some of these devices, but to have a little cue card of, of where you, you start it and stop it and how you, whatever it is you do with these devices. It might be nice to have cue cards to just a refresher of how to run the device. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very oh, good use okay. of the technology. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Well, this is wonderful. I'm so glad that you chose our our community and um, Google to share your launch, your beta launch of Flash Stacks. And um, is there anything else that we haven't talked about? Because I don't want to sh cut this short, but I also don't want to to drag this on. We we have some people watching. I have one that says, "Yay, Suki, whatever." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, can I That's interject briefly that I give her a T-R-E-A-T before every one of these interviews so that doesn't happen and the little stinker did it anyway, so I apologize <laughs> for the barking. <laughs> Occupational hazard, I guess. I lock mine in the bedroom and then I come upstairs, so. <laughs> I'm going to need to do that next time. Um, yeah, I locked my kids out. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think... So Go ahead, I'm, just, um, I'm just excited to see the other use cases because I know, like for me, I immediately thought, um, like, oh, I can use it for this and this and this. But I've even thought of specific explorers and said, like, boy, I would love to see this person use it in this way and sort of share their knowledge on this, you know, subject. And so I think that, um, you know, Cecilia and I have been talking a lot and, and we both said, like, I think we're going to be surprised by the things that people come up with. Um, and I'm just really excited to see that. So I'm already super surprised with all the ideas, Kathy. You yeah. know, and I can see her already. I, I, she just started. Now she's gonna go to. She's gonna be one of our first beta testers for sure. And she's gonna go there and start sending things to Glass. So we, I feel like we are enabling a community that uh, didn't have that possibility before. I'm very excited about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and you came up with such a simple solution to a problem that that really is a problem and, and there's so much to be gained by having information at your you can't really say fingertips anymore eyelashes <laughs> <laughs> one more thing I like to say for for the medical community specifically not for everybody but if someone is uh, in a certain level where they're related with education and they want to build one of the first stacks I want you to know that in the future this is going to be commercialized so if you upload a stack that has a lot of medical information for students and it becomes a very very valuable resource, chances are people are going to buy it from you and you're going to put it there and say this is $1.99 or this is 99 cents, whatever it is, but that could be a source income for people in the future. 
So we're very much looking forward to that moment in, in the life of flash stacks. That's great. Now, here's the next the next level of this. Do you have anything built in yet, or have you anticipated a way to rank content so that you'll be able to know which ones are most appreciated? Yes, we already have. If, when you get to the beta testing site, you'll see that we have a, ran a ranking with stars. So you're going to be able to put stars, and that's going to be all ranked. And there's tags also that you can put there, so eventually you're going to be able to search for the tags and find the specific content that you want, and also see the quality of the content as it was rated by other users. So that's all in there, it's part of the... Very nice. So as you build your beta testers, you wish for them to also rate the content so you can begin to see that working as well, I assume? Yes, so the best things arise to the top. And specifically for medical, we also forgot to mention that we probably, very probably, will have a med.flashtags.com, which will be just for people to see that kind of content. The same way we'll have ed for education. So we might have different areas. So you don't have to go and find all the little flurry cats and all that. I mean, everybody loves cats. But when you're trying to find your medical staff, we're going to try to give you, in the future, a, a specific place when we have enough content and beta testers and actual users. Mm -hmm. There's a question um, in the viewing audience. Jean would like to know, will you be able to load short video clips? Will these be limited to stagnant content, or will you be able to do videos? So every time you create a new card inside your stack, for now we have a few templates, and videos are considered there. They're not ready, but they're already considered. Uh, very soon we'll add new contents. Maybe in the future we'll have active content. So like a real flashcard, you see one thing, and you have to guess the answer, and then you can tap on it and see the answer, for instance. So there's all sorts of new templates that are going to come. And actually, when I talked to Christian Asad, I remember we discussed the idea of sometimes they have to calculate formulas really fast, like because they have this amount of fluid and depending on the body mass or whatever, so maybe they will be able to have formulas where they say a number or two and they come out with an answer for them. So there's a lot of possibilities as we grow into the future. Well, and even sound sound bites because I know when my husband was in medical school there were certain sounds to look for certain to recognize certain heart murmurs and as a medical student you have to learn to recognize those different sounds that you're going to hear through your stethoscope so I could see that that being an area too or maybe the sound would be the same as video I don't know I'm not a developer no that makes a lot of sense yeah we could have mp3s only but uh, also now that you said sound you also reminded me that there's a whole thing about seeing a card that has a little text but listening to a lot more and that's something we didn't in implement yet that's something that would definitely come well some people are more auditory when they're learning so they're having that audio well back in the very early days of uh, I don't know if you call it social media but when the internet came out in the 90s and people were first getting into those old chat rooms and we had you know prodigy and some of the other things and then eventually we had the chat rooms of um, AOL 1.0 and we started getting into chats. My husband had just graduated from residency, and he would quiz people on getting ready for MCATs and things. And, and it was a hot thing for him to do. He would go out and have all these quizzes and questions, and people would start chiming in with their answers. This is really the modern-day version of that, being able to put together stack cards and be able to, to give people a quiz, a, a virtual quiz for learning. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Very exciting. Well, um, stay stay with the community. Let us know how things are progressing. And um, I'm sure that this video will continue to get passed on, and we'll have some more people sign up for potential beta testers and join your community. If we can get you to put the link to your community on the event page, Cecilia and Virginia, that would be wonderful. And um, I might, I don't think I can embed it in the video because it's not my website. I'll have to see what I can do about that. And um, we will continue with this conversation and follow you along the way with Flash Stacks. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. Awesome. Yeah, right. I think you had so many um, great suggestions and ideas today that it's making me even more excited. I can't wait for people to get in there and create stuff and see um, how they use it. So, 
Well, let's see if we can get even some more ideas. So those who are watching it now, share it with people who are innovative, who have great ideas and might brainstorm with us. And if you have ideas about how this video, how this flash stacks might be used in medicine, come to the event page or post on the YouTube page or go into the community and share. I'd like to see it in the public space um, also. So definitely on the YouTube and, and uh, events page so that we can all see your ideas and elaborate on them and maybe we can take this to a whole nother level. Oh, there's one more question before we wrap this up. John Springer has asked, is this web base or loaded onto the device? I think we've we've answered that, but will you address that? Because I'm not sure he got in for the first part of the conversation. So it's both. So the, the building of the stacks is, happens mostly on web, although you will be able to take a picture and share it with flash stacks, and that will be another way for you to create uh, stacks that are more like from pictures. But for the most part, the content, we believe it's going to be elaborated in, in the web, and then it's going to be sent to Glass. And once you send it to Glass, you have it there. So you don't have to have internet. When, once it's loaded, it's going to go with you portably, and it's contained on Glass at that point in time as it looked when you loaded it, right? Right. Once it's in your timeline in Glass, it will stay there for at least two weeks, I believe. Wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm just so excited for you both. Congratulations. Um, and, and let's stay stay connected and we will follow you along the way and this concludes today's healthcare hangout on flash stacks um, new glassware that's been revealed today with Cecilia of um, 33 labs and Virginia of fat Russell and uh, flash stacks look it up follow the community sign up for beta and comment at the event page see you all